Ta -da. Is this a safety hazard? I think so. Guys, it's the birthday photo shoot. Good morning. It is Saturday morning and I'm so happy because this is the one day a week that my husband has off of work. It is early. It's like 7 a.m. The baby just woke up and my husband is, you can probably hear it. I hope it's not too loud. My husband is FaceTiming with his family in Thailand. I'm sure we're going to do some fun stuff today being it is his only day off but i am actually about to make breakfast i'm going to make jok mu which is thai food it's like i think the technical name is kanji it's like rice porridge um with ground pork in it so i'm gonna make that and then i think maybe i'm gonna try and give some to the baby because in thailand that is something that babies would eat simon is half thai so thought we would try it usually bob and i add like a bunch of sauces into it at the end we just won't do that with his we'll just give him as is with the rice and the pork and then my husband will add in a bunch of sauces like vinegar mountain sauce some other things he'll do that to both of our bowls and it just gives it more pizzas <laughs> The recipe calls for a cup and a half of rice in a large pot with 12 cups of water. However, this is a big recipe and it makes a lot and we always have so much left over. I'm going to do one cup of rice and eight cups of water. You rinse your rice, put it in a soup pot, add your water, and bouillon, 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 the little like chicken stock cubes. Here are my little cubes. Since I'm making less rice, I don't want it to be too salty, so I'm just going to cut one of these like in half, I guess. You bring it to a boil and that cooks for like 45 minutes. And while that is boiling, I will prepare the pork, which just, it's ground pork. It goes in a bowl with like several sauces. We fry up some crispy garlic. So all of that gets done while this is cooking. I just put half a pound of pork in here. The recipe calls for three quarter pound, but like I said, I'm cutting everything in thirds. The recipe calls for two cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna use the full two cloves in there because we like garlic. Um, but I'm actually gonna cut up an entire head, head of garlic, because um, we fry some of it up for the topping. Okay, in this bowl we have the ground pork, minced garlic, salt, pepper, and soy sauce. You mix all this together and then when the rice is like really thick and porridge-like, you're gonna pinch pieces of this mixture and drop it in so it's like little, little pork dumplings. Okay, so this is a pretty good consistency. The pork is cooked. I added in some julienned ginger and some cilantro and some scallions. And now it is ready to serve with all of its toppings. So Bob adds in golden mountain seasoning sauce, white pepper powder, and white vinegar. 
Ta da! I feed you. I feed you. No. <laughs> you don't like it? I made it for you, little Thai boy. Mm, you eat joke? You like joke? You like joke? No, the port, uh, you have the port, no? No, my hour. No, I was not recording the whole time. <laughs> okay, I'll say that again. We finally left the house today. I finally left the house. Bob leaves the house every day. And we're shopping at the outlets. Welcome to my mukbang. Simon has milk. I have a fried chicken sandwich. What is happening right now? Simon, we're doing a mukbang. You have to show the camera what you're eating. That's what a mukbang is. It's like a thing people do on YouTube where they eat in front of the camera. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole thing. Well, they usually talk when they do it. You have to show what you're eating. That's not what you're eating. Okay, you can take it out now. We need a little more. I gotta hear you eating it. Ooh, hear that crunch? Mm -mm. Mm. I asked for no pickles. I said, crispy chicken sandwich, no pickles. She said, you said crispy chicken sandwich? Yes, no pickles. Okay, just to confirm one more time, you want the $3 combo box and a crispy chicken sandwich. Me. Yes, with no pickles. What do you think is on this sandwich? So I did not film while we were at the outlets. Um, we only went into a few stores. We went into Old Navy, Zoomies, Adidas, Levi's, Michael Kors. And Lane Bryant. I'll show what we got later. Now it's five o'clock. Oh my god. We were planning to do like my birthday photo shoot today, which is basically just me getting the 30 balloons and like taking pictures under one of those like pink flower trees. It's five o'clock though, and like Simon's bedtime is seven, so I'm going to Party City right now. Honestly, right now, I'm thinking it can't get done today because let's say by some miracle they can do it right when I get there. It's going to be 5.30 by the time we get back. The park is like 15 minutes away. So that right there, 6 o'clock, plus the photo shoot, we would be getting back right at his bedtime and he has to eat dinner. So I'm already, I'm already driving there. So I guess this is what we're working with. My actual birthday is Tuesday. I don't know what the plan is. I'm kind of like torn between figuring out what I wanna do and letting Bob surprise me, which is really what I would prefer. I would prefer a surprise. I'm big on surprises. I enjoy them. I think it's fun to like see what people think of for you. I'm scared that he's like not planning anything and then it's gonna be my birthday and he's gonna be like, okay, what do you wanna do? And I won't have any ideas because I thought he was planning something. I'm kind of torn what color to get. The dress I'm going to wear is like red and pink and orange stripes. I was thinking, oh, I should get the rose gold then. I just wonder if the rose gold will be too much and maybe I should just get silver. I'm not feeling gold for some reason. I, maybe, maybe I'll get really lucky and they will only have one of them in stock and then I'll be forced to just get whatever one they have. But 
I'm nervous. I'm nervous about how my hair looks and on top of that I have not posted any photos of me yet with my middle part and it's growing on me I have to say I'm getting used to it but to be like hey I'm 30 and I have a middle part actually maybe this is the best time to introduce it to the internet because I'm 30 it's a new decade and I'm entering it with a middle part pretty substantial news if I do say 30 flirty and middle parting don't let me down party city make my choice easy watch they don't have any in stock except for gold <laughs> okay <laughs> mission accomplished I got the balloons rose gold I went up to the balloon counter and I saw they had a sign that said jumbo letters or whatever and uh, it was like comes in seven colors red blue pink white black gold silver rose gold I was like oh god this went from picking between three colors to picking between all of those so then I asked her what numbers do you have in stock a three and a zero and she said rose gold and gold and I was like, okay, well then the decision is made. It's rose gold. And she blew them up right then. It's 526, but I can't see anything now because these big ass balloons are in the back seat. Is this a safety hazard? I think so. All right. Good thing I'm driving Bob's car because my car does not have a blind spot camera. His does, so that's coming in handy right now. We don't even know if that tree is still gonna have flowers on it because we went and checked it out like a week and a half ago and things change quickly in the spring. I don't know what those trees are called with like the pink flowers. Obvi they're not like cherry blossoms, but there's like three or four trees in the park that have those flowers. So I'm hoping we can get the photo under one of those. All right, I'm gonna close this because I have to, I'm about to pull my driveway. I have to like, rush in the house and change and fix my makeup and hopefully Simon is in a good mood and hopefully Bob's in a good mood and we can just head over to the park. Guys, yeah. nice. it's the birthday photo shoot. The rose gold was the perfect decision and it looks amazing with the trees and the trees are way more in bloom than they were. Simon's about to fly away. They're beautiful. Let's put your hat on them. There we go, cute boy. So we're trying to take some good shots, but there's a lot of cars around, so we'll have to see how they turn out. This is my second outfit change. It always makes me sad when we're done because it's like, what do I do with the balloons now? Mm -hmm. I need the tree to come home with me because they look so perfect together. Don't you think so? Maybe we should take some selfies. With you. True. Bob, holding the camera. Good morning. Baby and I are eating our breakfast. I have a very decadent piece of toast. It's peanut butter, jam, and banana. He is pretty much done, but he had banana, some egg and we're working on our yogurt but it's very messy no the camera doesn't want to eat your egg mm. talk about a mukbang so i actually only planned on vlogging yesterday saturday but we went and did our little photo shoot in the park and it went really well the pictures look amazing insert a few of them here and I was so sh nervous about it being really crowded, but we ended up finding like these trees with the pink flowers, like right in the corner of the park. There was no one over there. I mean, a few people walked by cause there was like a sidewalk out to the street, but the rose gold balloons, like with the pink of the trees was beautiful. It, I was obsessed with it. Um, I like didn't want to leave. <laughs> Put it down nicely, please. So I can give you more. But then we got home and it was, 6 30 so i quickly made him what did you eat for dinner he had some toast with almond butter tomato and butternut squash what was i saying oh so i figured today might be 
I could get some filming done as well because my mom and my dad are coming over today. My dad is going to finish our bathroom. Like, barring anything insane going wrong, the bathroom will be done today. So, oh, hallelujah. If you saw my last vlog, it's just a lot. Like, I'm ready to have my house back to normal to, like, go in my bathroom and not have exposed beams and, like, paint chipping off the wall and etc etc I'm just excited to have like a whole bathroom that's gonna happen today my mom and I are going to go get our nails done for my birthday and we have not had our nails done in a very long time um ugh, what sucks is that my nails are so short because I'm disgusting and I bite them and I am trying so 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 hard to stop it's my new year's resolution every single year and still here we are but I like really having my nails done because it's the only thing that makes me stop biting them. So the point is, I think I'm going to get tips. Like I always, <laughs> I think the people get like mad at me because they put the nails on and I have them cut it so, so short that it's like a millimeter worth of tip. And they're like, uh, what was the point of that? I'm debating if I want to like go on Pinterest and try and find something bold to have them do. But usually I just get like a pastel color and I might just get a pastel color I'm not sure but the pedicure is like we're in dire times here with the pedicure my feet are not doing great I don't know what time they're gonna get here it's like 7 30 right now he woke up early today so I just would like to get the house picked up I would really like to work out I haven't worked out since Thursday and today is Sunday I have so many videos I need to get up. This freaking vlog from last week. I have decided I'm doing daily vlogs instead. I'm going to pick one day a week where I'm like actually doing things and I'll vlog that day because last week I vlogged the whole week and that video is a mammoth. It's like editing this long kind of boring video and I'm like, oh, that's not fun for anybody to watch. So I'm going to post it because like I've already worked on it and I mean... I enjoy watching long vlogs. Like, it wouldn't bother me if someone I subscribed to uploaded that vlog. I just know it's not for everyone. Before I edited it completely, it was like two hours. And I think I've got it down to like 35 minutes now, but that's still long for what it is. <laughs> Cause I'm in the house, the whole vlog, like nothing happens. I think he's done. This is disgusting. I'll show you him somehow. I hope my husband doesn't see me um, handling the camera with my yogurt hands. <laughs> A mess. So I gotta go like toss him in a lake or something. Just kidding, just kidding. I just have to wash him. Oh, and then I'll show you what we got at the outlets yesterday. I never did that. I'm wearing my like one thing right now. All right, this is what we got. We went to the outlets to go to Adidas. Hi, Simon. And get baby shoes. That didn't happen. My husband got these. Then we went to Zoomies for him to get shorts and he got these two pairs of shorts and got home and realized they are swimsuits. <laughs> I don't know like how we didn't figure that out in the store, especially because they were on a rack with things that were obviously swimsuits. So these are going back because he doesn't want swimsuits. <laughs> I went to Lane Bryant, but it was kind of a debacle. Put them on last night and the cup is too small. I need a bigger size cup. Then we went to Levi's. He got these shorts and these shorts. And even though they are the same size, he said these ones are too small. So these will go back and he'll keep the other ones. And then Old Navy. So some underwear. <laughs> uh my husband got this tank top he loves i don't know if it's because he's from thailand but he loves like tank tops with like hawaiian shirts over them so he got this hawaiian shirt he got this flamingo tank top <laughs> this is his style so i saw this graphic tee and i got it for myself it has like Hey Arnold, Ren and Stimpy, Rugrats. I was like, wow, graphic tees are so on trend right now. I don't have any. I really need t-shirts. I'm going to get it. And I got home and I put it on and I was like, this is not me at all. I like them on other people and I see people wearing them and I'm like, oh, the, those are cute. And then I put them on and I'm like, this is goofy. Like I, I would never 
grab this shirt and be like, yep, this is the shirt I'm gonna wear today. It's just not me. And so this one is also going back. We got a few things for Simon. I got him this shirt that says small arms, huge hugs, cute. Um, I got this romper, is it a romper? I got him some dino snore jammies. And then I have no idea. I just saw the shirt and I thought the colors were so fun. It's like these, I think like dinosaur. They had so much cute baby stuff. Like the cutest ribbed Henleys with like little pockets. But they were $17 for one. I was like, I'm not paying $17 for one baby t-shirt. It's not even from like a sustainable like privately owned, family owned brand. It's Old Navy and it's $17 for a shirt that one, he's gonna stain. Two, he'll grow out of in like two months cause he's a weed. He's growing like a weed. It was absurd. So I just bought anything that was like on sale for like five, $6. And then what I'm wearing, this little lounge set. It's in an XL and like it fits. Like I have tons of room. But it's just, I mean, an XXL probably would have been more flattering on my like belly area, but then it would have been too big. It's just cozy, but I felt kind of silly because like I actually do need summer clothes and I didn't get any of that. I got like a lounge set, which I have a lot of. I was not this size last, last summer I was pregnant. So all I wore last summer was maternity dresses. So it's been like two years since I've had to have like actual tank tops and t-shirts to wear. And definitely the stuff I wore two years ago is not gonna fit now. So I need a little mini summer wardrobe. Oh, the cat's sitting in front of your piano. Come on, show us how you play your piano. Okay, let's play. Yep, that's it. Here, mommy will play a song, ready? Dude, you're messing up my artistic flow. He's coming for the camera. Say goodbye, camera. <laughs> Simon! <laughs> I'm trying to play Lion King. Oh yeah, eighth grade music class. Still got it. <sighs> You're so good at painting a piano. You're my little baby Beethoven. All right, I should probably put this camera down and like do something. Clean up the eggs that are still on the floor, maybe. All right, I was talking this morning about how I haven't worked out and, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna work out today because it will clear my mind. The second I started doing it, I felt so good, I didn't wanna stop. So I did a 15 minute HIIT workout, a 10 minute HIIT workout, and I wanted to keep going, so I did that ab workout. But now I'm tired. I'm gonna shower really quick, and then hopefully I can do my thumbnail for my vlog from last week. My dad is here. You can probably hear him working on the bathroom, but it's raining. Hi, Dad. He's cutting the wood for the chair rails. I feel bad because he has to keep walking. Oh, the baby. I just put him down. That was not a long enough nap. Okay, I need to make him 
uh, bottle really quick and then maybe he'll go back down for a little longer. That was like 30 minutes at most. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Having some P.F. Chang's for dinner. Let's see. Orange shrimp. Oh, that's vegetables for the duck. Got some duck. Wait, no, that's Mongolian beef. <laughs> Lo mein. This is uh, sweet and sour soup, I believe. That's duck. This duck was $28. That's absurd. And sweet and sour chicken. We have this really good family owned Chinese place that we like to go to, but the wait was super long and it's already seven o'clock on a Sunday. So PF Chang's it was. Hopefully it tastes good. Takeout is never good. Takeout is never as good as in person.